This is how to determine your lift size if you can find the sticker that's located on the front of your wind charm. The 1200 will have on the wind charm will be an inch and a half square and the top cross arm on side here will be a two inch. For the 1800 it'll be a two inch square on the wind charm and two inch on the top cross arm here. On the 2400 it'll be a two inch on the outside square, but it'll be a three inch on the top cross arm. And from three thousands on up will be the three inch square out here and three inch square in the bed as well. For the 3600 on up will be what we call a double pulley system. It'll still be one cable. Instead of one pulley down here, it'll have a double pulley. The cable will go off the other side, come back around and tie off under this side, opposite of that side over there on the 3600s on up. Still just one cable, but it'll be a double pulley system. The 4200 will have a three inch square top cross arm, but we'll have a double uh, brace, flat brace on the back side here. And it will also have a three inch square top cross arm. The 4200 will have a brace running from the front bottom cross arm and the back cross arm from front to back will be braced in the middle. The 4800 will have a three inch square wind charm again, and it'll also have the double thickness flat bracing on the back. We'll also have the three inch square top cross arm, and it will also work on the same double pulley system as the 42. And it'll also have the brace that runs from front to back, but it'll also have a two inch flat, which will make an X in the bed from opposite corners and X in the middle. And the 42 and the 48 will also be a 20 to one winch instead of the 15 to one from the 36s. If you have the 42, you can also measure the pull arm. will help determine on a 42 and 48, they will be 127 inches long on those two particular lifts.